neighbors, welcome to the Shed Shop and this edition of Product Reviews. I have on my bench a tool that I am testing out. Um, as a YouTuber, as your channel grows, you will sometimes get emails from companies that offer you their product for free if you'll do a review of it on your channel. And so, uh, that's what we're going to be doing here. A lot of times I turn these down uh, simply because I know... For me, my honesty is uh, my most valued uh, trait, and so if I don't like a product, the review is not going to be good. And if you put out negative reviews of products, well, other products are going to be reluctant to ask you to review their product. So once you've accepted the product, you have a commitment to fulfill to do a video and review that product. And so if I accept a product and it's not good. I still have to put that video out, but I refuse to lie and say a product's good if it's not. Uh, this is um, a duster, and so I don't know if any of you know um, about cans of duster. It's basically air in a can, and, you know, you use it for cleaning your keyboard. Uh, people that build computers use it. Uh, people that build small things use it. I've even used it on carburetors before so that I don't have to consistently adjust the uh, pressure on my uh, air compressor and so I have a couple of different things I want to try this blower for this uh, battery powered blower uh, we're gonna try I think it might be really good for cleaning carburetors and I have a laptop that I keep here in my shop and as you can imagine it gets pretty dirty because we are cleaning chainsaws and so all that dust and debris and schmutz like greasy shop break says gets in the air and it can get on my computer keyboard so, I have had this for about a week, and I haven't even opened it yet, but I received an email asking if I had completed the video yet, and uh, unfortunately I had to say no, not yet. Uh, I've been very busy, but we made a commitment, and so now we're going to fulfill that commitment. This is, uh, it's called a V-Monster Compressed Air Duster, and it's from a company named Vogma. Now, they have their website right here, www.vogmaall.com. Uh, I don't know what the price of this product is on their website, but I believe it's under $30 on Amazon. And uh, they have a 20% off coupon right now. So I will leave you a link to this product on Amazon in the description. And I will also leave you the link in the pinned comment. And I will write their website as well in case you like this product and you think it's something you want to buy. You can see if it's cheaper to get it on their website than Amazon. So that being said... I'm going to turn you down to the bench, and we're going to get to work reviewing this product, Neighbors. Neighbors, here's our uh, duster. Uh, what I can tell you is, if you buy cans of air duster, in my area, they run from $7 to $12 for a medium-sized can. And so if this product will do what the cans of air do, in my opinion, it's well worth it. Because if I'm using them on carburetors and my computers, uh, I could go through a can in a week. And uh, that means this product would pay for itself in a month of not having to buy cans of air. So let's go ahead and get to it, neighbors. Let's open our box and see what we have. It is in a nice, durable box, and obviously it came inside of an Amazon box. So we've got our little uh, instruction manual here. It's got an LED light on it, it looks like. Just shows us what our controls are. Shows us what we're supposed to have and it shows us how to use it oh look you can use it to uh that's actually a good idea when you're trying to get your fire going instead of blowing on your little kindling pile so this says a couple of different nozzles you can use it on a campfire uh it's got an inflatable part for air beds that's awesome for keyboards um also can it says the inflatable part is equipped with an inflatable nozzle which can inflate the swimming ring and a yoga ball uh inflate an air bed and uh, clean the inside of your computer it also has a vacuum interesting wow you guys that's pretty cool for 30 bucks the airbed exhaust nozzle could vacuum the airbed so that means you could faster empty your air out of your airbed and get it all out and it also hooks up to those uh, vacuum seal bags that's not bad okay so let's see what we got here we have some uh, brushes which are very soft so that can definitely be used for our keyboard this looks like the uh, vacuum nozzle uh, a couple of different nozzles here, which that's my life. I drop everything. That's my life, neighbors. I deal with this all day long. Okay, so we've got, this one looks like it actually attaches probably to the thing. So, a couple of brushes, recharge cord, vacuum attachment, 
And then here is the power head itself. It comes in a nice little travel bag. Seems pretty durable. Okay. Uh, weight's not too bad. Probably just shy of a pound. Okay, so there's our blower. And then uh, we've got the reverse button back here. So it's got different speeds. There's low, L1, L2, L3. Okay, so our vacuum would be hooking this up to the other side. Pretty strong, not too bad. So the power seems good. Uh, if I were, be, I was hoping it had a real tight nozzle. Um, if I were to be cleaning a carburetor, I'd like a little more of a tight nozzle, but we hook the nozzle right on. Easy to turn on back here. Push the button in the front and get our power. I think that could work pretty good for my carburetors. I feel the air coming through nice and easy. Yeah, that could clean carburetors that aren't super dirty. Okay. So let's try it. I actually do have an air mattress too. I think we'll probably have to pull that out. Maybe we'll do a second review on this product. Okay, so my computer's not all that dirty right now, but... Uh, this nozzle would probably be best. Get more surface area. Okay. Just put that right in there. And turn it around whichever direction we want it. Turn it all the way up. Yeah. That works good, you guys. Powerful enough that it's even partially pushing my buttons down. Probably get a little bit more power out of the can of air that's compressed. I would say if you have an office with a lot of computers, this would definitely be a good product. Maybe use it to clean my workbench off. I like it. Yeah, I think I'd like to try it on an air mattress. What I can say is it's probably not as fast as as a um let's see here. Oh, and you can reverse it. There you go. For the vacuum so that you have it on the front side with the button up here. So we got a power on and off. And then the button back here changes our level. And it looks like we have three different levels. It didn't come with a wall plug, but most things these days don't. But it's got a USB cord. It looks like it's probably a three-footer. Yep. No, that's a two-footer. So we got a two-foot power cord. Type-C, so you really could use any Type-C cord you wanted. And then these brushes. I like these brushes, too. They're really soft. Really soft. So... I can even use them on my screen. Doesn't scratch my screen at all. This is a touch screen, so I like to keep it clean. This one's working a little better for the screen. Soft enough that it's not scratching it. I like that. I mean, I could even use these on a carburetor to brush the dirt off the outside. Uh, definitely think this will come in handy for me. Uh, I have an air mattress, I think, in the camper, and it is a big one. And even with this, its pump, it does take, whoops, we want to make sure we turn that off. Oh, and it's got our uh, battery percentage there. Shows us how, how much battery we have left. 100%. So let's go take this out. It, even with the pump that comes with my um, airbed, it takes like probably five minutes to air up. But I would think if a guy's camping, mine has a built-in, so I'd actually have to find one of the ones that doesn't have a built-in pump. I don't know that we'll be able to do that this time. I think I'll find an airbed and, and uh, test this on an airbed in the near future. But, uh, yeah, overall, you guys, damn it, I thought I turned it off. Mm. That's one thing. we got to make sure we turn it off. I keep forgetting to do that. Uh, overall, for the price, uh, I, I really think it would come in handy. Um, and, again, if you use cans of duster, you never have to buy a duster again. I like that it's got a rechargeable battery so that you don't have to... Uh, replace batteries you just recharge it by plugging it right into the wall it's always nice when you don't have to change batteries you know this thing uh my inspection light i go through hella batteries probably uh i probably change the batteries in this every single month and that gets to be expensive when you're using two AAA batteries a month for one item so overall good product i would recommend it um, and like I said, I think we'll do another video in the future with an airbed and we'll see how it does uh, airing up and sucking the air out of an airbed. But for these purposes, uh, yeah, I give it a thumbs up. I'd say out of five stars, I'd probably give this a four to four and a half star. I would like to see it have a little bit more power. But um, again, the price, 
I think they're like twenty four ninety nine on Amazon or twenty nine ninety nine, and they're running a twenty percent off coupon right now. So um, under thirty bucks, and if it's twenty four, that means you're only going to pay like uh, twenty one dollars. Good product. That's three cans of air pays for this item. So it's worth it to me if you use uh, compressed air in a can. I would definitely recommend it. And if you do camping, I would definitely recommend this because not all the pumps have uh, battery options and then your D batteries or your C batteries and your air mattress pump could, could die. And if you don't have extras and you don't have access to power, well, boom. If you have this in your trunk, it's small, it's compact, uh, you can air up your airbed without hesitation and you can suck the air out of it. And I also like, I like those storage bags, but you have to use a regular vacuum on them. And so this would allow you to not have to unwrap your vacuum cord and pull your bulky vacuum out. Just do, uh, do your, uh, I like those plastic bags that you can store your winter clothes in. Uh, if you have a small closet like I do, compress all your sweaters and stuff. And for that to be able to seal those bags is too. Got a lot of functions. Um, I'm surprised how much you can do with it. So yeah, overall, the Chainsaw Redeemer does recommend the V-Monster Compressed Air Duster from Vogma. One thing about products as well is, however, I find that a lot of stuff I buy these days has a one-year warranty and it dies after one year. Like my label maker died after one year. All kinds of stuff I buy on Amazon only lasts a year. So that's the only thing I cannot speak to is what's the durability, what's the longevity, what's the lifeline, uh, what's the uh, length of life on this product. I don't know, but we'll see in the future because I'll definitely be using this. So until next time, neighbors, be kind to one another. Everyone's facing a battle. I hope you enjoyed the video. Tell me in the comments down below what you think of this product. Again, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Be consider becoming a member for just $3.99 a month. And I love all you neighbors, even though I suck at it. Hashtag persevere. Until next time.